let's get started. For this quick project, you're going to need some lightweight yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, darning needle, scissors, and a measuring tape. I am using a 100% baby cotton yarn. It recommends a 2.5 to 3.5mm hook, but we will be using a 4mm hook. We'll be keeping our stitches nice and loose. This yarn that I have is from Hobie and it's a baby cotton, 100% organic Egyptian cotton. I will put the link in the description. Let's start with a slip knot. Chain 13. Be sure to keep the chains quite loose. This should be about three inches or seven and a half centimeters. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we are gonna put two single crochets. We are going to put it into the back bump of the stitch. Finding that back bump, Insert your hook, draw up your yarn, yarn over and pull through two. That is one single crochet. Let's put a second single crochet in that same stitch. We will now work 10 single crochets, one in each of the next 10 chains. Make sure you go into the back bump of the stitch. In the last stitch, we will put four single crochet. Put the third and the fourth single crochet on the other side of the knot. We will then work down the other side, putting one single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. On this side, we'll make sure we go underneath both pieces of yarn.
And here we have our last stitch. That's number 10. And then we're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch where we started. We can then slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Round one will equal 28 stitches. Chain one, put two single crochet in the first stitch. So right in here in that first stitch. Okay, let's try this again. There's one and two. And then we will put two single crochet in the next stitch. And now 10 single crochet across, one in each stitch. Working around the corner, we will put two single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So two in the first one. And another two. And two more. We can then put 10 single crochet across. You should have two stitches left, and we're going to put two single crochet in each of those stitches. So that's two in this one, and two in the next. And then slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. So not the slip stitch or the chain one from the round below, but in the top of the first single crochet. Round two will equal 36 stitches. We will then chain one and start in the very first stitch. We're going to put 36 single crochet all the way around. So one single crochet in each stitch.
We can then slip stitch to join again in the top of the first single crochet. Round three will equal 36 stitches. For round four, we're gonna start with the chain one. We will now single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch. So just going into that very back loop, single crochet all the way around. This stitch here is just creating a little edge at the bottom, so now our stitches will start moving upwards. Again, let's slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. All rounds will be 36 stitches. So let's start round five. We're gonna start with a chain one and put a single crochet in the very first stitch. We will then chain one, skip one, and just repeat. So single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet and you can do this all the way around. So here is our last skip one and then joining into the top of the first single crochet. We're now going to repeat this, but we're gonna do a chain one and turn. So for round six to 24, this will be a repeat. So once we turn, you'll see that chain space right away. We will do a single crochet in that first chain space. So single crochet, chain one, and repeat. So for rounds six to 24, you will repeat all of this, doing a chain one and turn with every row. Here we are back at the beginning, putting that slip stitch to join in the first single crochet. Chain one and turn. And here you will see it's always ready to start again with that first space. I like to do the chain one and turn because this gives your line straight up the side. So it's really hard to see your line, but it is there on the side and it goes straight. You won't have anything going at an angle when you do your chain one and turn. The other thing you can do is put a stitch marker in your first stitch. So here I'm just going to show you how we're going to slip stitch to join and do our chain one turn. So chain one and turn and then putting that first single crochet into that first chain space. So here to make it a little bit easier if you would like put a stitch marker in that first stitch.
So continue your row all the way around. And then once you get around to the beginning, it's easier to see. So here you will have your last chain space where you put the single crochet, chain one, and that's where we're going to finish the round. So you can remove your marker, slip stitch to join, chain one turn, single crochet into that first stitch and put another marker. Whatever works best for you. At the end of round 24, you will have about four and a half inches or 11 and a half centimeters. So we will slip stitch to join and we're going to turn our work. We will now do round 25. We will just slip stitch over to the chain space. So let's just do one slip stitch over. We're then going to do a chain three, and that's gonna be like a double crochet. Two, three, and then one more chain for the chain one. And now we will put one double crochet into each chain space. So here we have a double crochet, chain one, and now repeat. So double crochet, chain one, and repeat. Here we have our last double crochet and chain, and now we're going to slip stitch to join in the third chain. So right in there, you should have 18 double crochet in total. To start round 26, we're gonna start with the chain one, and then we will put one single crochet in each double crochet from the round below and one single crochet in each chain space. So into the top of the double crochet and into the space. And just repeat this all the way around. Once you have reached back around to the beginning, we will slip stitch to join. So here's our last single crochet, and now slip stitch to join in the top of the first one. We won't be turning our work anymore. We're now just going to chain one, and we're going to repeat this. So for rounds 27, 28, and 29, we will just have one single crochet in each stitch. It should now look like this. For round 30, we're going to join with our slip stitch. So in that first stitch, we're gonna do a slip stitch, but then we're gonna to continue to do slip stitch all the way around. So let's do slip stitch into each stitch. This just gives a little bit of a heavier top or kind of an edging around the top to make it nice.
Once you have reached back around to the beginning, you can cut your yarn and weave in both ends. We can now start the strap. Let's start with a slip knot and chain 60. This will be about 15 inches or 38 centimeters. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to do slip stitch into the back bump of each stitch. We will work all the way back down to the beginning. Once you have reached back down to the beginning, we can tie and weave in the ends. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. This is quick, fun, and easy to make for last minute gift ideas. I hope you've enjoyed it and please subscribe and come back soon to my channel. Thanks again. Bye.